I want to wear this bra tomorrow. I think I can wear it again. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna feel and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, gorgeous, and welcome to my channel. I'm Gopana Shmange, and this is how I do things. So, show where you send me your questions, and I'll let you know how I would do things, and I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it, don't take it. Use it, don't use it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because nah, me, ek, not a professional. I'm not a professional at all. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. So you can do whatever you will with it. Whatever you will. Honey's the bra series continues. Actually, I enjoy this. It makes me feel happy. It just makes a whole lot of sense. Today, we're talking about the maintenance of bras. Now, have you ever found that you can either keep a bra for a very short period of time, about six months, you wear it, it finishes, you get rid of it? Or are you the type of person who can have bras for a very, very long time? Like you can have a bra for about three years, it looks good, you wear it nicely on repeat, you have it nicely washed, it's always clean, the color hasn't faded. Honeys, I'm going to tell you how you can become that person. How you should maintain and use your bras and wash them in a way keeps the color, does not stretch, it's always clean, and it lasts. That's what I want for you and your bra collection. First of all, I know people who only have one bra. Please get multiple bras. I mean, let's just start with the fact that you need different bras for different situations. A t-shirt bra cannot work under what I'm wearing right now. I needed my corset. So that it, you know, it's sexy, it just makes sense. You need different bras for different situations. So please have multiple bras, but not just because of that, just because of the look, but also because you cannot overwear your bras. Wearing your bras too much or too often will lead to them stretching, you'll lose the elasticity on your bras and they'll get dirty and they'll get muggy. It becomes unhygienic. They start to smell and then it's a problem. Don't wash them too much, don't wear them too much. It's a delicate balance. So today I'm going to give you eight things that you need to know about taking care and washing your bras so that you can have a good lifespan on them. Let's get started. Number one, yes, you can hand wash or machine wash your bras. However, the first place that you need to start with your bra is finding out on the label whether you can hand wash or you should machine wash your bra. This seems pretty obvious and pretty simple. This is one of my t-shirt bras. It's, an, it's on the tag that you find, the little tag that you find on the bra. If you're the type of person to cut this off as soon as you buy it, make sure that you take a picture of it first. So you have it there and it tells you gentle machine wash. It doesn't have an X through it. Do not bleach wash, do not tumble dry. Dry in shape inside out. Do not iron, do not dry clean, wash separately. There's the main instructions that you need for your bra. Now, if you don't have those instructions anymore, one of the easiest ways for you to tell is that bras that have any studs, any lace, or they are sheer, you're going to hand wash those. I prefer if you hand wash it because it will last a lot a little longer and you won't damage it in the machine. But if you have your t-shirt bras, a lot like the one that I just showed you, those ones, they don't have any studs, they don't have any lace. Pretty simple bra. You can just tuck those in the washing machine. Number two, now if you're going to hand wash your bras, the first thing that you need to do is to actually soak them. You're going to use a hand wash soap or you're going to use a detergent, any one that you can use with your hands. You're gonna put a spoon of that soap into your water. You can use your basin and you're going to soak your bras in there. Now, I've been one of those lazy girls who will leave my bras soaking for like a full day. You don't want to do that. Soaking into the pads can actually damage the bra as well. And when you dry it, it becomes really hard and then you get watermarks on your pa the pads of your bra. Not cute, not cute at all. So soak them for about 20 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, and then afterwards you come and you're going to try and wring them out. The best way for you to wash your bras is not like this. <laughs> no, my darling. It's a bit of a tricky one, washing your bras, but 
if you are there using your hand to brush through if you do have a delicate brush you can use the delicate brush and then as you continue to squeeze a little bit that water washes in and out of the bra and that should be a good enough wash if you do have a delicate brush or another cloth that you can use then you can do that but remember as you're rubbing on things such as lace those will create little lint balls on your bra which you do not want so try and avoid that from happening by being extremely gentle when you wash your bra number three do not ring your bras this is ringing your bra this that's ringing i feel sad for this bra because it's my example bra but don't ring your bra when you ring your bra you're damaging both the wire and you're stretching the bra in ways that could actually damage it especially over the long run so what you're going to do with your bra is that you're going to lay it on a towel you're going to roll up the towel and then that will soak in the water from the bra now you want to try as hard as you can to try and get that water outside of the padding specifically especially if you're one of those girls i have small boobs so i've got a lot of padding in my bras Try and take the, the towel, put it on top and at the bottom and just squeeze the water out of your bra. This may seem like it's a bit of work, but if you want to keep your bras, meaning that you won't have to spend on your bras as often, you'll follow these instructions. Now you also want to make sure that you take extra care for gel padding. So you can feel the difference between gel padding and foam padding. So I have mostly foam padding, but gel padding, when you press on it, you can see that the hole that you create with your finger takes a little bit longer for it to go away. So it's almost like it creates, it, it molds to the shape of your finger or to your breast. If you have bras like that, you want to hand wash those as well. And when it comes to the padding and wringing it out, you don't want to move it around too much. So be extra gentle with gel padding bras. Now, yes, you can take some of those delicate bras and put them in the washing machine. You just have to make sure that you use a delicate washing soap so a detergent that is specifically for delicate clothing and you want to make sure that you use a cool gentle cycle number four is if you want to put your bras in the washing machine please make sure that you hook them so you don't want to put them in like this because this end is going to hook onto your studs your lace and it's going to cause holes which is very sad so hook it to make sure that the hooks are away and that it doesn't cause any problems for any other bras that you're washing it with. Number five is for you to use a lingerie bag or a laundry bag for underwear that you put into the washing machine. Basically, it's just a mesh bag that you put your bras inside, you either zip it or you tie it closed and you throw that into the washing machine. It really does help to protect all your bras, especially if you have your lace bras, if you have your, your um, sheer bras, anything that is see-through like this, that can really damage your bras. So once you put it inside a mesh bag, use any mesh bag, any bag that has holes through it, that water can seep in and out, you can use that. Put all your bras inside, toss that into the washing machine. Number six, whatever cycle you use, do not make the temperature too hot. The reason why is that if you use warm or hot water on your bras, it's going to break down the materials and it's going to cause stretching and it won't come back. The elasticity in your bras is going to dis disappear. A lot of the elasticity in our bras exists here on the sides by the straps here. And once that elasticity goes, it starts to show through your clothing that you're wearing something that's a little bit loose. And that's when your bra needs to actually be tucked away. So try and keep the water cool to avoid that from happening. Number seven is for you to air dry your bras on a drying rack for you to avoid direct sunlight as well. Direct sunlight fades the colors of your bras. So what you want to do is that you want to hook your bra over a drying rack. So there's a number of ways that you can hook your bra over a drying rack. You can hook it by having the two hooks done and putting the drying rack in the middle like so, or you can keep it open and fling the bra over like that. Either way, the water needs to seep away from this padding because if you have it in the wrong direction and you have it upright like this, then the water can come to the bottom of the padding and then cause watermarks on the pad of your bra. 
And finally, number eight, you want to make sure that you remove the pads from your bras if you can. Especially if you're going to be washing any sort of sports bras, removing the padding and washing it without the padding helps you to hold the shape of your bra. Sports bras are quite stretchy and sometimes may have padding. When you remove the padding, it helps that stretch to come back down, the elasticity to become a bit harder, especially if you're using cool water. That way it holds the shape nicely and when you put it back on, your sisters are held very nicely. Wash the padding separately as well so that you can get rid of any of that sweat that you have been accumulating during your workouts. So once you know all of these things, the big question is how often should you be washing your bras? If you're the type of person to sweat and perspire quite often, you want to wash your bra after every one use. However, if you do not perspire that often and you have padded bras that you may use maybe once a week, then you can wash your bras once a month. After two or three wears when something is a bit padded, then you can wash it. But when it comes to your exercise clothing, please wash it every single, every single time you wear it, you have to wash it to get rid of all of that bacteria. As a good rule, after wearing a bra once, just wash it. This is why it's important for you to have multiple bras so you have all the different types of selections. So it means that you don't wash your bra more than three times a month. So you can keep it clean, taking away all the sweat, but also not over washing it because you have too few bras. I hope that helped. It helped me a lot as well for me to just go back to the rules in terms of what you should do to take care of your bras and to keep them clean. Bras can be a real source of stinky, inky, sweaty, funkiness. So if you want to stay away from that, wash your bras regularly, okay? You do not want your man to just smell of coming from your breastuses. You do sweat. You do. So please keep them clean, but keep them clean in a way that they can last as well. I hope that you enjoyed that one. Please do share this with a friend who needs it and give us a big thumbs up if you really liked it. Until next time, beautiful people, I'm Kapana Shimang and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching and thank you for making it right until the end. Now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, click over here to subscribe. I don't know why you're not watching, why you're watching my bras and then you're not subscribing to my channel, it's really unfair. Feel free to binge watch and continue to watch the bra series and go to my website www.kapanishmagi.com to find out more about my journal, her daily success journal and how you can get your hands on it no matter where you are in the world. Until next time.